Welcome or welcome back. I need help uh, at C squared. In this example, here we need to solve what is called a rational inequality. For solving a rational inequality, you need to take the numerator x plus 5, make it equals to 0 in this case. That will give us x equals negative 5. And the numerator x plus 1, make that one equals to 0 also. That will give, you, give us x equals negative 1. And here we're going to use a, a sign table. Let me call this uh, rational uh, function f of x, right? Okay, so the rational function f of x is x plus 5 over x plus 1. And I'm going to put these two value that we found in the previous step, negative 1 and negative 5. I'm going to start to negative 5 first and negative 1 second. When x is negative 5, that x plus 5 becomes 0, the numerator. So that means the whole fraction will be 0. When x is equals negative 1, the denominator is 0, which is a problem, right? The fraction is undefined. But, and you see what I put in the table. Undefined, that's the meaning of that bar. And you notice now we have three intervals. I'm going to need to check the sign on each interval. So I'm going to start with an easy value, x equals 0. If we make x equals 0, the top of the fraction becomes uh, 0 plus 5, a positive number, uh, and uh, 0 plus 1, another positive number. Uh, dividing two positive numbers, we get a positive number. That's the reason I'm going to put plus here. The function f of x is positive uh, when x is uh, greater than negative 1. Now, if we go to between negative 1 and negative 5, like an x equals uh, uh, negative 2, x plus 5 is a positive number. Uh, x plus 1 is going to be a negative number. So that quotient will be negative here. And then we're going to take an x that is less than negative 5, like ne negative 6. x plus 5 becomes negative. x plus 1 becomes negative. The quotient of these two negative numbers will be a positive number. And looking to our original problem, uh, which says greater than 0, we have the interval for which this uh, rational function is greater than 0. That will be negative infinity. Uh, negative 5 and negative 1 infinity and the union sign here in case you need it now let's take a look to a graphical way a little bit and which you see it here on the uh, right side yes uh, this function is positive on the top of the x-axis uh, here in these two regions here and and here okay so you notice uh, f of x is positive from negative infinity to uh, negative 5 and then uh, after negative 1 so the graphical approach uh, and the algebraic approach give us the same answer which is the case all the time if you do the right algebra. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.